episode, we meet Lou. He's invented a new way to make energy from cow manure. We'll take a trip to a dairy farm and follow Lou as he assembles his invention and tests it out. that some of the world's most famous inventions were invented by kids? And did you know that some kids are even starting their own companies? Come along and think big, and we'll see how these everyday kids are doing it, because they're just like you and me. And you know what? You can do it too. Have you noticed that lots of people are talking about oil and gas and different fuel alternatives? Big stuff. But if you think kids can make a difference, here's one kid inventor that'll really change your mind. Today, we're gonna meet Lou. He's invented a microbial fuel cell that changes cow manure into methane gas and electricity. That means it turns poop into two different types of energy. He's gonna be testing it to prove that it works. And of course, that means a trip to the farm for some fresh manure. He lives in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Let's check it out. My name is Luke Fell and I'm a kid inventor. I'm in grade nine and I'm 15 years old. I live in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. I have two parents, a mom and dad, and I have a little sister. Oh, for fun, I like to go play outside or practice hockey or lacrosse. We're gonna have to get some lefts on that. Uh, this is my first year coaching house league lacrosse in Sarnia. Well, you get to interact with the kids. I'm um, teaching them new skills that they haven't learned yet. Okay guys, go out there and do your best. First line out. Run down the floor guys, run down the floor. Oh, nice goal, nice goal, that was a nice goal. You guys, congratulate your goalie. Yeah, you can say it's a rewarding drill because you get to see your hard efforts get paid off. It's the best part about it. Come and check out my room. Uh, this is my trophy collection. I have many different trophies from hockey, lacrosse, and soccer. So these up here are hockey pucks. Whenever I get a shutout, I collect the puck. This one, we played Port Huron and we won one nothing. Oh, this is a car that my uncle made and gave me. There's a little knob thing right there. You wrap it around that. Put it on the ground and let it go. This is a mini Morse code machine that I made. You have the buzzer right there, it's connected to a battery, and then you have two wires in there. You see you have a wire up there, and it connects to a little wire down there. This is a coin from Russia. Oh, I also collect special coins as well, like this jar right here is full of them. I will now take you to my basement. Oh, these swords. These are old swords that were given uh, my dad's side of the family. They're his swords. And what about inventing? A big part of inventing is trial and error. You always have to try new things. Research is a very big part of inventing. Well, if you want to invent something, do something that you want to do, that like you love doing. A few qualities that like I had to have for this is like even if like I failed on something, I kept wanting to do it again. I kept wanting, I kept striving to get better. And another one was the creative quality as well to actually think of this idea. Yeah, it's not every day you think up a way to turn poo into energy. Show us how it works. This is my invention, the microbial fuel cell. So my invention is using poop to create energy. Microbial fuel cell. Okay, so besides poop, what's involved? So this here is the scale that measures how much manure goes in. It's also covered with poop. On this scale, I usually put on 200 grams of manure, but today I'll put on more. The voltmeter right here, which measures voltage. If I hook these two up, 
it gets to six, uh, 670 millivolts of electricity in there. And that's just with 200 grams of manure. This has about as much equivalent power as the watch battery. And these are two graduated cylinders right here. These graduated cylinders are filled with water. And as the methane gas comes in, pushes the water out. And this one, everything from here up is all methane in there. Methane can be used to heat your home or to cook with. Or when compressed, it can fuel a car. So this big thing here is the water bath. And the water bath controls the temperature inside here. So the manure inside the water bath needs to be warm because the warmer it is, the more methane gas that it will produce. Yes, yeah, so this water bath is basically like a poo heater. What happens is the manure creates hydrogen. The hydrogen goes through the membrane into this chamber over here and it mixes with oxygen and there's an electrode in there and that electrode helps this reaction take place so it'll be able to create voltage. It sounds simple, eh? I don't know about simple, but I think I get it. Lou takes manure, adds water, and keeps it warm. Got it. Then reactions occur, and from that reaction comes electricity and methane gas. Two fuels, one poop. Got it. So what happens is the cow takes the poopy, then I put the poop into here, and the poop creates electricity, which I capture over here, and methane gas, which I capture over there. I'm gonna show you how I built my microbial fuel cell. So I started off by screwing in the proton exchange membrane. Membrane. The proton exchange membrane is sort of like the gatekeeper. It only lets things that it wants to let through go through, and stuff that it doesn't want to go through, it can't, it can't go in. So an important part of what I'm doing here is trying to keep the tension even while I screw in the membrane. You also make sure you don't want to poke it. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> See if this is sealed properly. There seems to be no water leakage. Now all we need is some poop from the farm. Let's go get some. Uh, we are at the dairy farm right now. Come on, I'll show you the barn where I get the manure in the winter. So this is the milk cooler where they keep the milk cool until the big truck comes and picks it up. This is the area where I collect most of the manure from during the winter time. Oh, these are baby cows that are young, but they're also big at the same time. These cows are not good poop producers yet. I'm going to be collecting the manure so I can put it into my fuel cell to generate electricity. Come on, guys, start pooping. We got some fresh stuff. The worst part about collecting manure is actually collecting it. Sure, you don't get any grass in it because that could affect it. But yeah, I, I tried uh, fresh poop versus older poop, and I found that fresh poop did better than other poop. Okay, this is kind of disgusting. So now I got my fresh manure now and I could go back and finish building the cell. Well, I'm back from the farm with some successful manure. It smells bad. Let's go put it in now, so. I'm diluting the manure. Water does help with the process that takes place. What this is here, this is a graphite felt electrode and this helps the reaction take place for the pr production of voltage. So now I'm going to put that on and you line up the screws. Start screwing them in. We shall take this into the washer bath. The fuel cell's constructed, but can you really get energy from manure? Let's check out that great invention, lacrosse. Virtually every First Nations in North America had their own type of ball and stick game. But the modern sport of lacrosse is directly descended from the Mohawk game played near Montreal. It was here that the European settlers first became involved with the sport 
and it was when Dr. George Beers was instrumental in developing the game on a broader scale. Today, lacrosse is Canada's national sport. Lacrosse, a sporting invention that's a whole lot of fun. Let's get back to Lou. His invention turns cow manure into energy. But does it really work? It's time to put it to the test. With paper clips? So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be creating a paper clip motor to show you that there's actually been voltage being produced. First what you got to do is you cut a piece off from your wire, ravel it around something. Kids, ask your parents to help you with this. Strip the wire off. Next, take your paper clips, put your tape over top of it. You just fit it in there. Put your magnets. Next, you want to attach the wire. As you can see there is a magnetic pull on it. Yeah, you can see it moving back and forth. So how this is happening is in this in the cell, the uh, voltage is coming through and it's coming down to power this down here. This here is basically running on cow poop. So you can see that there is electricity being generated in my cell and I proved it right here. And now we just need to wait for the methane gas to be produced. So now I've got enough methane gas generated, so now I'm gonna burn it so you can actually see that it was methane gas being generated. Put my hand underneath it, flip it upside down. I'm gonna take a match and I'm gonna light it and I'm gonna drop it in. Kids, don't try this at home. Only trained professionals should do it. He's not kidding. Fire and gas are serious things and can be very dangerous. And that was a pretty good example of pure methane burning. And that shows that the microbial fuel cell works. Who knew that poo had so much power? I, I could sell my invention to a city and the city could install it at their sewage treatment plant, just taking away our dependence on fossil fuels and also taking away our dependence on electricity. I'm hoping to invent something and make millions or billions or trillions, but chances of that aren't that high. How much power does your poo have? Poo power! Well, there you have it. Lou saw the potential of poo, built an invention, and successfully tested it. And now, he's able to turn cow manure into methane gas and electrical voltage. Sounds like a pretty cool alternative to fossil fuels. But you know if Lou can do it, so can you. All you have to do is think big. Well, I'm gonna test my new hand crank room fan. And not a moment too soon, because this room's getting pretty warm today. <sighs> Whew, getting really tired. Working up a sweat here. Ah, oh, my arm's starting to burn now. <sighs> okay. Well, it works, but it's a lot of hard work. I think I might even be warmer than what I started off as. It seems like the hand crank is not the way to go for this invention. See you next time, and remember to think big. Ah.